In the vastness of our sky lies Betelgeuse, a red giant star located in the Orion constellation. This star is so immense that if it were positioned where the Sun is, its outer surface would reach the orbit of Jupiter, making it incredibly massive. Betelgeuse is unstable and nearing the end of its life, with the potential to explode in a supernova that would be visible from Earth. Astronomers, using tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, have detected concerning signs that this colossal star may be on the brink of a cosmic disaster. Esteemed scientist Brian Cox has raised a serious alarm, leading many to wonder if we are about to witness a supernova that could change the night sky forever. Stars are born, live, and die in extraordinary ways, and Betelgeuse is a prime example of this stellar life cycle. It is a red supergiant, roughly 764 times larger than our Sun, and is in the final stages of its life. If Betelgeuse replaced the Sun, its size would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and extend beyond. Its immense size and advanced stage indicate that it has exhausted much of the hydrogen in its core and is now fusing heavier elements. Betelgeuse is relatively young for a star, only about 8 to 8.5 million years old, but in stellar terms, it is quite old. Over time, it has transformed from a hot blue star into the cooler red giant we observe today. Its reddish hue is due to its cooler surface temperature, around 3,500 Kelvin, compared to the sun's 5,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature causes Betelgeuse to emit red light, offering clues about its internal processes. Interestingly, historical records from Roman and Chinese civilizations suggest Betelgeuse was once yellow, but by the 9th century, it had shifted to red, reflecting its evolution over time. Betelgeuse's brightness also fluctuates in a semi-regular pattern, with cycles lasting 400 days and another spanning 5 years. These changes in brightness have been noted for centuries, with early documentation by Sir John Herschel in 1836. However, the star doesn't always follow predictable patterns. In late 2019, Betelgeuse began to dim unexpectedly, an event now referred to as the Great Dimming. This mysterious fading raised concerns among astronomers, as the star's light dropped at a rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day, reaching its lowest point in February 2020. The star became so faint that it was no longer visible to the naked eye in some areas. One challenge in observing Betelgeuse is the time delay caused by its distance from Earth. Light from Betelgeuse takes approximately 700 years to reach us, meaning we are seeing the star as it was in the distant past. This time paradox makes it difficult to predict sudden changes in the star's behavior. The recent dimming event highlighted how challenging it is to monitor celestial objects in real time. Scientists, including Andrea Dupree from Harvard and the Smithsonian, closely observed Betelgeuse using the Hubble Space Telescope. They tracked changes in its outer atmosphere over three years, revealing new insights into the star's internal workings. The observations showed that hot material was being ejected from Betelgeuse's surface at speeds of 200,000 miles per hour, forming a dust cloud that partially obscured the star and caused the dimming. This mass ejection was much larger than usual, sparking discussions about whether it could signal an impending supernova. Betelgeuse is approximately 725 light-years away from Earth, and if it were to explode in a supernova, the event would be visible to us and would provide a rare opportunity to witness such an explosion up close. However, astronomers are still unsure whether the recent dimming was a precursor to a supernova or simply a one-time event in the star's long and complex life. Several theories have been proposed, including the possibility that dust clouds formed by material expelled from the star could be blocking its light. Another theory suggests that changes in Betelgeuse's photosphere, the outer visible layer, may be responsible for the dimming. Spectroscopic studies have shown that Betelgeuse's temperature dropped by at least 170 Kelvin during the dimming, indicating significant changes on the star's surface. The Hubble Space Telescope played a crucial role in unraveling the mystery, revealing that a large amount of hot plasma erupted from Betelgeuse, cooling as it moved outward and forming dust grains. This dust cloud then blocked light from a quarter of the star's surface. The 2019-2020 dimming event has deepened our understanding of Betelgeuse and challenged previous models of stellar evolution. Typically, red supergiants lose mass at a steady rate, but Betelgeuse's massive ejection suggests that the final stages of a star's life may be more turbulent than once thought. While a supernova may still be thousands of years away, the recent outburst has raised new questions about how such events unfold. Betelgeuse's journey through space at 67,000 miles per hour also creates a bow shock, a phenomenon similar to the wave formed by a ship moving through water. This interaction between the star's outer layers and the surrounding interstellar medium is another intriguing aspect of its behavior. 
Despite recent changes, Betelgeuse remains unstable, with hydrodynamic models showing a link between its convective processes, mass ejection, and changes in pulsation modes. These observations challenge traditional models of stellar life cycles, as Betelgeuse's mass loss is higher than that of many other stars. The force pulsations, driven by internal forces, are limited by energy loss through shock heating and mass ejection. These complex dynamics continue to puzzle astronomers and may hold the key to understanding Betelgeuse's future. As scientists continue to study Betelgeuse, they are left to wonder if the star is nearing the end of its life. While the exact timing of a potential supernova remains unknown, the recent mass ejection has shifted the conversation and brought the possibility of an imminent explosion closer to reality. In our night sky, there's a giant star known as Betelgeuse, a massive red supergiant that's so large that if it replaced our sun, its surface would extend all the way to Jupiter's orbit. This star is enormous, unstable, and approaching the end of its life. Astronomers are increasingly concerned as Betelgeuse sends alarming signals across the cosmos, with some speculating that it could be on the brink of exploding in a spectacular supernova. Brian Cox, a well-known scientist, has issued warnings about the potential cosmic event. The question on everyone's mind, could we soon witness a supernova so immense that it would permanently alter our night sky? In the vast universe, stars live and die in fascinating ways, but one star has recently captivated both astronomers and the general public, Betelgeuse, the red supergiant star in the constellation Orion. It's a colossus, nearly 764 times the size of our sun, and it's nearing the end of its life. With its distinct reddish hue and variable brightness, Betelgeuse has always been intriguing, but recent changes in the star's behavior have raised the stakes even higher. Betelgeuse is in the final stage of its life cycle as a red supergiant,